campaigns are tough. You've been at this for a while now, my friend. When you've encountered obstacles, what gets you out of bed in the morning? Knowing that this work makes a difference is what gets me out of bed in the morning. Uh, I, I keep telling voters, you know, let me be uh, someone that helps lower your blood pressure because someone who knows how to do the job and wants to give it all of his heart and soul is is here for you. Uh, and I think that that's, that's something people need to hear and don't see enough of in their public servants. We see a lot of uh, selfie chasers. We see a lot of YouTube stars, but we don't always see public policy experts and we don't always see community organizers who really want to do the not sexy parts of the job. And that's the stuff I love. I mean, if I could wake up tomorrow and work in the Jed Bartlett West Wing White House, uh, that's where I'd like to be. And I joke about that in some of my campaign lit. I said, if I could get to Harrisburg and help convert it from a little less WWF and a little bit more West Wing, I've done my job. endorsement oh my goodness i i am a lucky lucky man um uh, you know my career in in the arts in uh public policy and advocacy and communications has spanned so many different industries and i've gotten to work with so many incredible people in so many different ways when you get to turn your heroes into your friends it's really a special moment that can really that only happens in, in this kind of work. Um, and to have folks like Josh Molina, who played Will Bailey, and Mary McCormick, who played uh, Kate Harper on The West Wing, which all of us political nerds probably can recite backwards and forwards, uh, to have them uh, shoot a campaign video for me. Hi, I'm Joshua Molina. You might recognize me from The West Wing or Scandal. Hi, I'm Mary McCormick, you know, from that show. As an experienced political faker, I know the real thing when I see it, and Jonathan Lovitz is the real thing. And young leaders like Jonathan are always thinking about what's next. Let's send Jonathan to the Pennsylvania State House, where he will work for paid family leave, higher wages, and affordable housing. So get involved and show up for candidates who are fighting for us. And that includes folks like Jonathan Lovitz. Jonathan will strengthen unions and fight for the safety and success of all workers. Jonathan Lovitz, he's what's next. And what's great about it is they're also helping me organize people they know in this district and in the area uh, to supplement some of the other folks who have endorsed me, which include folks from labor, because uh, I myself am a union member of 15 years this year, and I'm so proud of that. Uh, folks from the business community where I've worked and the advocacy community where I've worked. Folks who have really made a difference in the world of policy, like Jim Obergefell, who was the plaintiff of the marriage equality case that made my marriage possible, was one of my very first endorsements. So to have people like that backing the campaign means the world to me, because I think it's a real signal that a decade of work with them and for their causes is now something I can point to and say, because I did that, I'm ready to do this job for you. I really got a kick out of the way that you poked at Allison Janney and Richard Schiff. You tagged them on Twitter. <laughs> Well, a million years ago, in my first career, um, in my first years in the union when I was a Broadway performer, uh, I got to work in Broadway, uh, Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS event with Allison, and we've stayed in touch ever since. And actually, a dear friend of hers, um, the woman who played Carol on the West Wing, uh, uh, Melissa Fitzgerald, has become a dear friend of mine. So many of those folks 
have become activists where they use their fame, especially their connection to something like the West Wing to help promote diverse causes. Um, you know, Josh does a ton of work on Jewish education and anti-Semitism work. Um, uh, Mary McCormick's sister is the chief justice of the Michigan Supreme Court, and they've helped raise so many of those issues, particularly for women. Um, and Allison and, and Melissa have been so vocal on uh, treatment courts and support for our veterans, which means a lot to me as someone who's got to work on a lot of veteran rights issues issues over the years. That is, I, I'm so lucky that these do-gooders are also friends and we get to collaborate on projects beyond my campaign. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Is Melissa still with that veterans group? Justice for Vets, they do. And everyone, please check them out in groups like them. They help uh, veterans transition uh, out, uh, dealing with, with all kinds of uh, personal and mental health issues and, and addictions, get through treatment courts, get the help they need and get back into the workforce. It's so important. It's a debt we, that we all owe our vets uh, and I think is too often ignored by the public. So I, I just really congratulate her and the work of so many people like that.